Hello, everyone. I'm Hao Zheqin from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. I'm very honored to share our idea at the Web Conference 2021. Our topic is weekly supervised question answering with effective rank and weighted loss over candidates. In many question answering tasks, the goal of the QA model is to predict a task-specific solution given an input question. This solution will be further executed to output the final textual or numerical answers in a deterministic way. The training data should be questioning solution pairs generally. Let's see an example. Here, we got a natural language question and a table. We input them to a QA model and the output of it is a solution, which is a SQL query in this example. And then, we need to execute the SQL query to get the final answer. It is written here. So, ideally, we need those solutions to train the QA model. However, in real scenarios, the ground truth solutions are difficult to generate. Domain experts are required and it's usually time consuming. So, weak supervision is proposed to address such challenge. The goal of weekly supervised question answering is to train models with only question answer pairs. When applying weak supervision to train query models, it is usually necessary to search the candidate solutions, since we don't have the correct solution for each question answer pairs. However, there are sometimes many spurious candidate solutions which can generate the correct answer coincidentally. For example, in the semantic parsing tasks, we got a question and a table and the answer written. After we find the candidate solutions which can lead to correct answers, we find that many of these solutions are spurious ones, which can execute it to get the gold answer, but they don't express the semantic meaning of the question. Also, in machine reading tasks, the answers may appear multiple times in the document, but only one of them has the correct context associated with the question. There are many methods uh, have been proposed to overcome this challenge. One of them is maxi maximum marginal likelihood. Uh, it maximizes the sum of the likelihood of all the candidate solutions. This method has a certain effect but the sum can be maximized by assigning high probabilities to spurious solutions, which will lead to relatively poor performance. Another one is hard EMP approach. It updates models parameters using the solution with the highest probability as each learning step. But it may choose wrong solutions to train the model at early training steps, which will lead to low convergence speed and even hurting the final performance. So, in order to overcome this the challenge and uh, come up with a better method, we first have the following observations. We find most spurious candidate solutions can be filtered with some simple heuristic rules or scores. We still have two ex examples. In the semantic parsing tasks, we, the correct SQL query covers more information in the question than the spurious ones with exact matched tokens or semantic consistent operators. In machine reading comprehension tasks on the right, the, the sentence which contains the correct answer span also has higher semantic similarity with the questions than the spurious ones. So, based on the observation, we proposed a new method to overcome the spurious challenge when we weekly supervised QA tasks, that is, effective rank and weighted loss. First, we design multiple scoring functions based on such observation for different tasks. And then, we combine these scoring functions to rank the candidate solutions. After ranking, we select the top K as high-quality solutions. And we model the learning from multiple high-quality solutions as a multi-task learning problem. And the, the weights of them are adaptively learned. Uh, through this method, we can tolerate the ranking bias and benefit from more high-quality solutions rather than only one golden solution. It's, this is the overview of our method. After searching the candidate solutions for each question answering pairs, we use our score ranking method to rank these candidate solutions. After ranking, we use top three solutions of each QA pairs for model training. We use the idea of multitask learning, treating learning from a single solution as a single task. Then we combine the losses using weights which are automatically learned by model 
and then update model parameters using the final weight loss. Now, we elaborate on our scoring method. We evaluate each candidate's solutions by three scoring aspects. First, coverage score. It measures the amount of information carried by the candidate solution in a cross-grained cross way. Two, relatedness, relatedness score. It measures the amount of information carried by the candidate solutions in a fine-grained way. Finally, the simplicity score. Uh, since simpler solution tends to be a better solution because it probably has less redundant information. We introduce our scoring aspects one by one. First, coverage score. It measures how much the information in the question is covered by the candidate solution. For example, on the left, SQL 1 covers more tokens in the natural language questions than SQL 2. The golden solution in SQL 1 has a higher coverage score than SQL 2. And on the right, sentence 1 covers more tokens than sentence 2. So, sentence 1 has a higher coverage score than sentence 2. And the sentence 1 is the golden solution. Next one is relatedness score. It measures the semantic similarity or consistency. Here, we also have two examples. On the left, SQL 1 has a greater than sign, which is related to more than in the question, and a less than sign, which is re related to less than in the question. On the right, here, sentence 1 has the word husband, which is related to word marry in the questions, but sentence 2 didn't have this kind of, uh, kind of word. Finally, the simplicity score. We find that if two candidate solutions have similar coverage score and the relatedness score, we argue that the simpler solution tends to be a better solution because it probably has less redundant information. The example shows that SQL 2 has a redundant part in its query, so it has a less simplicity score. By calculating a weighted average of all these scores, we can sort the candidate solutions. The solutions which are ranked as top K are high quality scores. Now, given K high quality candidate solutions, we now need to learn the model by leveraging using useful information contained in all of them. So, we formulate this problem as a multitask learning problem. And it is often time consuming work to tune the weight in the multitask learning problem to get the best model performance. So, we have a new idea. We inspired by the method in CVPR18. We use task uncertainty to learn the optimal weights automatically. And the formula is as follows. And that's all of our method. And then, we, we evaluate our method on three data sets for two different QA tasks. WikiSQL for semantic parsing and the natural QA and the natural questions for machine reading comprehension. As is shown in the table, our method outperforms the state of the art weekly supervised method. We also conduct a detailed analysis from different aspects to better understand our model and study how the model performs in response to varying the training settings. We got sensitive analysis on K contribution analysis on scoring functions, and the convergence analysis compared with hard EM. First, sensitive analysis on K. We vary the amount of candidate solutions, that is K, used in model training. And the, the result is shown on the right. The performance of our model increases when we use model, uh, more candidate solutions. This is because the ranking of candidate solutions could be biased and the golden solution cannot always be ranked as top 1, so we use top 3 uh, candidate solutions during our model training, and we get the best performance. Next is the contribution analysis of scoring functions. All the scoring functions will benefit the model performance as is shown in the table, and the most effective score functions is coverage score. As we mentioned before, one weakness of the hard EM approach is that it will often use wrong solutions 
to train the model in early training steps, which will lead to low convergence speed and lead to poor performance. So, we use same experiment settings to train the model using hard EM model and our method separately. The result shows that, thanks to the score ranking approach to filter the spurious candidate solutions, our method can achieve very high accuracy even at the first epoch. The result shows that we get the best performance at the seventh epoch, while the hard EM approach got its best performance at the ninth epoch, and the best performance of our method is better than hard EM's best performance. And thank you, that's all. If you have any questions, you can contact me by my email.